Right, hello and welcome to another upgrade video from the Stitch76 channel. Today I've, well, I've recently had somebody contact me that they're in the process of upvolting their child's ride-on power wheels toy car and got a couple of questions around the fuse. So a standard one, these cars would come with this sort of thermal type fuse. It's not quite rated in amperage, it sort of is, but sort of isn't at the same time. It's more once it gets too hot it will blow, which generally the more amperage you are pulling, the hotter the wire will get. So therefore it will trip and then cool down and reset itself. So quite a simple system really. He's going from 12 volts to 24 volts, but I've got a car here that I'm going to do, which is probably the most common conversion, 6 volts to 12 volts, because it's quite a simple battery swap out one really. So. This will eventually become part of a series, so hit that subscribe and you'll see the whole series come up if you're in that position as well. So today, well tonight, I'm going to replace it with this little resettable fuse. I don't know how well that camera's focusing. It's got a little push button top just to trip it out, and this is rated for 30 amps. So this should do on the conversion I'm doing from 6 volts to 12 volts. So as I said, this will be part of a series, but I've already removed the harness, so these are the two clips from the battery. If you look just here, these are locking clips. I don't know how well you can see that at all. Maybe get a bit more light up over here. Can you see a tiny little push tab? You just have to push that down as you pull it out. And that's it. Okay. So we're going to remove this fuse. So let's have a little look see in here. Let's get this open up. Back in two secs. Right. So apologies about that. I'd forgotten I had to take my screwdriver set up earlier on to the house because we had a door handle come off one of the kitchen cupboard doors, so that needed to put fitting back on. And do you know what? We're just going to cut this off because then we can reuse this fuse if need be. So we're just going to cut the wire here and here. And we've got a bit of wire to crimp back on later on in life. If we, oops, sorry, it's out of the camera angle, isn't it? So I'm going to crimp just here and here. So we've got about an inch either side, so we can just reuse this wire if need this fuse if need be in another car if somebody comes in for a bit okay a new spade connector so we're going to hook that on this is going to be a little bit too short so i'm going to hmm i think i'm going to do a little daisy chain off here i think so we are just going to need See what going on there. So, right, let's just lay out how we're going to set this up quickly. So we've got that one coming off there. So coming in, we're going to need a little blade. One. Coming out. It's going to power. We want an insulator. Like insulated connections, don't we? Let's get an insulator for that one. And then you are going to need just a flat blade on. Fine. Right, so let's crank this one up. You know, I had this all marked out where I could record and everything that was all in my area and it hasn't really worked out to be honest with you. It's a bit of a pain, but then my mind I even painted out special areas so this becomes easier to see. Let's get these cranked down. We're nearly done now. I'm going to start talking again. A few people have been asking about the red car, and can we take it out again? Well, yes, I will be. I did make a promise to somebody who in the comments section. So please leave the comments, and I'm always quite happy to receive feedback, good or bad, and suggestions on what you'd like to see next. But anyway, so this chap's asked me to drive around playing ice cream theme music in a red car. I first had a thought, I was like, oh, bit different, but why not? This could be a lot of fun, couldn't it? So let's we'll give it a go. Right, we have that done. So we done. Right, so what I'm going to do as well, just because I like to be double safe, I'm going to put a little bit of tape around these connectors. So we're going to start from here. 
And we're just going to go roundy, roundy, round, nice and tight. up and we're gonna do the same on this one as well very quickly I don't really need to do this to be honest with you but it nice makes me feel a little bit safer I don't know why it's just psychological effect you know I would put gaffer tape on this a bit of duct tape really not too sure how safe to take us to run electric tape electrical connections actually but it's fine. Look at that. Look at that bad crimp there that I've done. Broke it. And I tested all of these as well. No, that one's okay. Right, let's redo this one quickly. Oh, me. This is why you should always solder these connections. I put a caveat on this video to tell you to solder everything. So, always remember solder everything as well just in case you really screw up your crimping like i have done tonight i think it's because i'm tired i had us up all night and then the toddler decided she was all right so we're back in connect it up and big test so it started up and let's this rear wheel up in the air. Done. Whoops. Oh. So remember telling me how I nicely painted this? Well. Burn it out. Hmm. Quick clean. Well, I've now discovered that little motorbike can do little mini burnouts. How good is that? Look at that, silver linings. And on that note, let's end this video. Chisel. Remember, oh, Hit that like and subscribe button. Apparently I need to keep asking this question. So yeah, but there'll be more videos coming up. So you'll want to subscribe anyway. And apparently you hit the like, more people will see it and therefore more people may find it helpful. Thank you. Cheers all. Bye.